Up until now, we've used Google Classroom for everything. Other than looking at our emails, we haven't used any of the other apps. Now, Google Classroom manages Google Drive efficiently. So let's look and see what Google Classroom does in the background with Google Drive. So let's go to our Google Drive. And we can see here that Google Drive has automatically created a folder called Classroom. So let's go into this Classroom. I'm gonna give it a list view so we can see the full name. Google Drive has created a folder for the Classroom that we created. Just to show that, if I go back into Google Classroom and then create another Classroom, let's call this and then create. Here's our second Classroom. If I go back to my Google Drive, we can now see it's created a new folder for that classroom. So it's sorting it by folder. Now let's go into our training folder. This particular folder we don't want to touch, but here it will produce lots of different folders for every assignment that you create. So let's go into YouTube Learning. Now this is the assignment that's been handed in. So let's go back to our third student, this is student three, and go and submit our assignment. So let's open it up. Here's my assignment. It's given it a name. And let's turn it in. We hand it in, in Google Classroom. We can see that it's been done. Let's go back to the teacher. And now we can see that assignment has been turned in. We can also see who the owner is of this document. So the owner now, because they've handed it in and I haven't returned it, is me, the teacher. This document, we can see it's been handed in and returned, so it's gone back to the student and the student becomes the owner again. So you can see here there's a very good structure in the way that Google Classroom is managing your folders. And it does this seamlessly and automatically. And you don't have to worry about it. In fact, when using Google Classroom, you don't have to use Google Drive at all because everything is within the classroom.